All right, perfect. It is recording now. So, let's go ahead and start in child's pose. You choose whichever one is most comfortable for you. You can separate your knees, big toes touch, sink your hips back, or you can keep your knees together and sink your hips back. And bow forward. Rest your forehead on your mat or your block. And just start to find a connection to your breath. Take a deep inhale through your nose, still all the way up. And then exhale from your mouth. Do two more together. Deep inhale through your nose. And exhale. And last one together. Go all the way up. And hold at the top and exhale. Rock your forehead from side to side. Just to begin to release any tension you may be holding in your face, in your neck. Now, as you settle into your child's pose, you can find the intention for today's practice. You can find a, a word or a phrase that's going to comfort you, help guide you through your practice today. Go ahead and come to stillness. Press up onto your fingertips so that your arms are hovering above your mat. Start to wake up the shoulders a little bit. And then slowly lift your forehead up off of your mat. Create some length in your spine. You can keep your gaze down. Hold here. On your exhale, go ahead and lower all the way down. Release your palms down to your mat. And we'll do that two more times. On your inhale, lift your arms, press into your fingertips. And then slowly lift your head up off of your mat. On your exhale, release all the way down. Last one on your inhale. Slowly lift up. And exhale, release all the way down. On your next inhale, you're going to shift your weight forward, bring your knees hip width distance apart. You're going to stay pressed into your Forearms come into like a mini tabletop. And you have the option here to tuck your toes or press into the tops of your feet. Be mindful of dumping your weight forward or arching your spine here. Keep your tailbone nice and tucked, nice flat spine. And we're creating space in the back body, opening in the shoulders. On your next inhale, go ahead and press all the way up into your tabletop position. So your knees are underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders. Again, you always have the option to tuck or untuck your toes. Now on your exhale, you're gonna bring your shoulder blades close together, drop your torso. 
And then as you inhale, you're going to separate them. Just starting to work into the shoulder blade. Just do this to your own pace. Take your time. And you're deepening that connection to your breath and working into some of those hidden nooks and crannies, those hard to reach areas. Do one more round. And then come back to a neutral spine. You can wiggle it out if you need to. I'm a very pro wiggle in my practice. We're gonna work our way down the spine. So begin your cat cow, drop your belly, lift your gaze. As you exhale, tuck your tailbone, bring your gaze between your legs. Turn to your neutral spine and your tabletop. Just hold here for just a moment. Extend your right arm out in front of you so that your thumb is facing the sky. And then when you're ready, go ahead and lift your left leg back. You're playing with the cross wires in your brain, forcing them to communicate. And playing with the opposites. Go ahead and lower down. Other side, left arm. Your thumb will face the sky and then your right leg will extend. Lower down. We'll do one more round, right arm, left leg, extend. And release. Left arm, right leg, and hold. Be mindful if you're dipping. Try to keep everything nice and flat. And lower down. Go ahead and organize your knees back underneath your hips, hands back underneath your shoulders. And this time, just extend your left leg. You're going to cross your left leg over your right body. Your gaze is going to come over your right shoulder, creating space in your left rib cage. Come back to center. Keeping your left leg extended up in the air, shift your weight back to sink your hips onto your right heel. Once you find your right heel, you can lower down. Stay held up on your forearms. Or you can stack one hand on top of another and lower your forehead down. If you lower it all the way down, go ahead and press back up onto your forearms. Press into your palms to lift back up into your three-legged table. And then release your left knee down. 
And take a moment to adjust. And then extend your right leg. And as you extend, be mindful if you're starting to shift your weight all the way forward. Try to keep everything lined. And then cross your right leg over your left body. Your gaze will come over your left shoulder. Again, creating space in your right rib. Bring yourself back to center. Keeping your right leg extended, go ahead and lower down onto your left heel. Again, you can rest on your forearms. Just gradually work your way down. If you lower it all the way down, come back onto your forearms. Press into your hands, shift your weight all the way forward. Come back to your three-legged table. And then lower your right knee down. Organize your tabletop and just move your hips from side to side. You're widening your tail. Tuck your toes, shift your weight back, come into downward facing dog. Just begin to pedal out your feet, wiggle your hips, walk after your dog, whatever you want to call it to wake up your hamstrings. Jump or step to the top of your mat, come into a halfway lift. So your hands can come to your shins to create this length, or you can lower them down to your mat. Take a deep inhale through your nose. On your exhale, come into a forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Hands go towards the sky. Come into your mountain pose. Drop your left arm down towards your side. Your right arm will stay extended. And then slowly begin to move your left hand down your thigh as you begin to turn towards the left. Be mindful if you're starting to curve or dump forward. Try to keep your chest nice and open. Inhale back up to center. Extend your left arm up towards the sky. And then lower your right arm down towards your hip. On your exhale, start to move your right hand down your thigh as you lean towards the right. Inhale, back up to center. And then bring your right arm up towards the sky. Come into your mountain pose. Be mindful of your shoulders. 
If you're scrunching them up towards your ears, tuck them back and down. Lower your arms down to your sides. We're gonna start to wake up the feet a little bit. So just start to rock back and forth. You determine how far up onto the balls of your feet you go. And if you're comfortable, you can rock back on your heels. Showing a little bit of love into the pads of our feet. It helps support us all day long. And use what you have nearby. If you need a wall to help stabilize, use the wall. This time, on your inhale, I want you to hold onto the balls of your feet so that your heels are lifted. Creating that bit of length and stretch in your arch. And then lower all the way down. Again, begin rocking back and forth, but this time as you rock back and forth, I want you to put a little bend in your knees. Not quite a chair pose bend, but a little bit more than a micro bend. What we're doing is rocking back and forth with a straight leg is working one muscle in the calf. And then as we bend our knees, we're working into the other. Helps strengthen all the way up. Again, this time as you come onto the balls of your feet, Keep your knees bent and hold. Do whatever you want with your arms. <laughs> I'm always very pro just holding on to myself. <laughs> Giving myself that little bit of comfort. And then go ahead and release, come all the way down. Spread your toes nice and wide, plant them down, bring your arms up above your head, come into your mountain pose. Take notice if your mountain feels a little bit different than it did in the beginning. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Step back into a high plank in your push-up position. Lower both knees. Untuck your toes, shift your weight forward, come into a cobra. Tuck your toes, shift your weight back, downward facing dog. We're going to do a few rounds to start to build a little bit of heat. Jump or step to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, mountain. Deep inhale through your nose, fill all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. Step back into your high plank. Lower both knees, untuck your toes, come into cobra. Tuck your toes, shift your weight back. Downward facing dog. Lift your right leg. Step it all the way through to the top of your mat. Press up into warrior one. And create your foundation first before you extend your arms. So you're pressing into the blade edge of your left leg. Deep bend in your right knee. Arms are extended out.
Flip both palms to face the sky. And then if you'd like to challenge your balance, you can close your eyes. If you close your eyes, go ahead and gently open, drop your left arm, reach back with your right, reverse your warrior. Beautiful. Come back into warrior two. Then bring your forearm to your front thigh, reach with your left arm extended side angle. And postures like this, I like to kind of play with my gaze. If you're finding a lot of strain as you look up, maybe look down at your mat. Try to keep everything engaged. You're lifting something heavy with your right hand and pushing away with your left. Come back into warrior two. Now we're gonna play with the dynamic movement of opening either in either direction. So you're gonna drop your left arm, come and reverse your warrior. And then as you exhale, you're gonna come into extended side angle. Just do this to your own pace. As you inhale, you'll come up, reverse your warrior. And as you exhale, you'll come into extended side angle. One more round. And then come back into your warrior two. Straighten your right leg, bring your feet nice and parallel. And then bring your hands to your hips. You're gonna rock your pelvis from front to back. Help train your body to hinge from the waist instead of dumping into your back as you fold. Also creating a light compression and release of your lower spine. The next time you tuck your pelvis back, lead with your heart, come into a wide-legged forward fold. Now take notice if you're locking your knees. If you are, you can heel toe your feet a bit wider to create a little bit of wiggle room. On your inhale, press into a halfway lift. Bring your hands back to your hips and come all the way up. Awesome. <laughs> Point your left toes toward the front of your mat now. Come into warrior two on the other side. And extend your arms. Now if you look down and you can't see your toes, take a wider step. You wanna stack your ankle underneath your knee it's okay if it's not complete 90 degrees. You just don't want to exceed 90 degrees. You can flip both palms to face the sky. Again, if you want that little mini challenge, you can always close your eyes. Just to truly see where you're distributing weight in your feet. Drop your right arm, reach back with your left, reverse your warrior. And if you feel like your right arm isn't doing anything, you can tuck it to your lower back, create a small bind. Come back into warrior two. Bring your forearm to your thigh, reach with your right arm extended side angle. 
Again, play with your gaze if you're feeling any kind of strain. And then you're gonna play with your movements. Come back into warrior two, and then reverse your warrior. On your exhale, extended side angle. One more round. And then come back into warrior two. Straighten your left leg, bring your feet nice and parallel. Heel toe your feet, a little more than hip width distance apart. You're gonna place your feet out into a V position. Take a deep inhale through your nose. On your exhale, bring your booty to a hover. Come into your malasana. Again, once you come down there, you can always adjust your feet to where they need to be. You can always keep your hands on your mat if that's more comfortable, or you can bring them to heart center. Bring them to heart center. You can use your knees to create a little bit more space in your hips. And then just begin to rock from side to side. Make a little massage into your hip joints. Go ahead and drop your butt down to your mat. Bring the bottoms of your feet together. Knees go wide. Get your butt out of the way. You want to be on your sit bones. As you come into your butterfly, you determine your level. You can have your heels tucked in or you can create some space. Inhale your arms up above your head to lengthen your spine. As you exhale, fold over your lap. Now you're looking for sensation. So if the level that you chose is too much sensation, just come out, readjust your feet, and then lower back down. Once you find your position, I want you to just bring the blade edges of your feet together. Allow them to open so they create a little, a little bowl or a little cup. And just begin to slowly massage the arches of your feet. Move the pressure upwards, do small circles. Gently working your way to the ball of your foot. Just small circles under each toe. And then work your way up to your toes. Maybe you squeeze with a little bit of pressure. Go ahead and fully exhale. Maybe lower a little bit further down than you were before. And allow your belly to be soft. Just 
to give your organs a little massage. On your next inhale, slowly rise all the way up. And if you're sideways on your mat, go ahead and rotate and extend your legs nice and long. Again, get your butt out of the way. You want to be on your sit bones. Flex your toes up towards your face. Just hold here. And as you exhale, point them away from you. Just do this to your own pace. Inhale, you'll point them towards you. Exhale, point them away. And do whatever you want with your arms. If you need a little prop up, you can do that. Bring your feet back to neutral. Bring your right foot to the inside of your left thigh. Create a figure four with your legs. Inhale your arms up above your head to lengthen. Exhale, lower over your left leg. Again, allow your belly to be soft. Be mindful of locking your knee. Try to keep a nice bend in your knee, even if it needs to be drastic, even if you need to force it. Try not to lock your joints, I'm creating that energy blockage. We want everything to be able to flow freely. And it's okay if your legs are starting to shake. It's just your nerves firing, getting ready to rebuild. And if any area is starting to generate maybe a little bit of heat or warmth, it's just your fascia beginning to activate to strengthen into those areas. Stay down here for a couple of breaths. Slowly press all the way up and switch sides. Release your right leg and then bring your left foot to the inside of your right thigh. Create that figure four. Inhale your arms up above your head to lengthen. Exhale, fold over your right leg. And be mindful of locking your knee. I am one of those people that always locks my joints immediately, so I'm a bouncy practitioner. <laughs> Down for just a few more breaths. And slowly press all the way up. Release your left foot. Go ahead and plant your feet. Bend your knees. It's okay if they come off of your mat. You can create a little space there. Again, inhale your arms up above your head. Exhale, fold in between your legs. Now this may be something you have to work into gradually with your hands starting right in front of you and then just slowly working their way out. 
again, you're just always looking for sensation. If anything genuinely hurts, you know your body best. If it's starting to hurt and actually have pain, take a couple steps back. Listen to what your body is telling you. It's always this thing where we have to go 100% all the time. It's just not true. Take a moment to listen to what your body needs. Walk your hands back to center. Bring your knees together, lower all the way down to your back. Hug your knees into your chest. And rock from side to side. And draw circles with your knees. And if you're drawing circles, go ahead and reverse, go the other direction. And then come to stillness. Go ahead and plant your feet, keep your knees bent. Walk your heels in close to your butt so you can feel them with your fingertips. And then bring your right ankle to your left knee. Again, creating that figure four. And if this feels like enough, you can stay right here. Or if you'd like a little more sensation, you can lift your left foot, interlace your fingers around your shin for a climb pigeon. Oftentimes when you come into these positions, we don't really know what to do with our head or what to do with your neck. Imagine you have a little golf ball between your collarbone and your chin so that you're tucking your chin in a bit. Again, creating that length in your spine into your neck instead of causing compression. If you lifted your left leg, go ahead and release your bind, lower all the way down. And then release your right foot. Put in your windshield vipers with your knees, Just lowering them from side to side. If you get any kind of pops or cracks in your lower spine and your hips, that's okay. <laughs> Just releasing tension. Come to stillness. Again, walk your heels in close to your butt. Bring your left foot to your right knee. Create that figure four. And again, you determine your level. You can stay right here. Or you can lift your right foot, interlace your fingers around your right shin. One side may feel completely different than the other. We do tend to favor one side over the other. One side has more balance than the other. It's natural for one side to maybe have a little bit more tightness. That's okay. They'll show it the same amount of love. 
be able to work into that tension, maybe get a little bit of relief at the end of the day. If you took a bind on this side, go ahead and release, lower your right foot all the way down. And then release your left leg down. Again, you can windshield wipe your legs, lowering them from one side to the other. And hug your knees back into your chest. Give yourself a nice tight squeeze. Extend your arms nice and long. You can take a cactus arm. Whatever you have space for. Lower your knees towards the left of your mat. Your gaze is going to come over your right shoulder for a reclined twist. In our practice together, we were able to move our spines in the three major ways of stretching, compressing, and twisting. It's doing these movements little by little every day will create so much ease in our flexibility and mobility. And making our daily tasks a little bit easier. Bring your knees and your gaze back to center. On your exhale, lower your knees towards the right. Your gaze will come over your left shoulder. your knees and your gaze back to center. And then allow your legs to extend the length of your mat. Maybe bring one heel to one edge, the other heel to the other edge, take up some space. Allow your arms to come down towards your sides, palms face the sky. If you feel comfortable, you can gently close your eyes and just start to return to your natural breath. And settle in for your Shavasana.
Begin to bring awareness back into your body. Gently wiggling your fingers and your toes. Rocking your head from side to side. Inhale your arms up above your head. Create a full body stretch. And then bring everything into center. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug for showing up for yourself today. And making your time and your health a priority. On your next exhale, lower down to one side, come into sleepy baby. With whichever hand landed on top, press up into a seated position. And as you find your comfortable seat, Bring your hands to heart center. And we'll close our practice the way we began with the sound of breath. We'll take three breaths together. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And exhale from your mouth. And deep inhale. Exhale. Last one. Go all the way up. And exhale. And bow your head. Thank you so much for joining me today.